so what happened? In the last clip you guys just saw, you saw me break my $1,500 camera. Well, to be exact, I broke the lens. When I dropped the camera, I landed on the face of the lens, ended up messing with something within the lens, nothing that I could have fixed. So I ended up asking people, asking around what should be a good lens I should get for vlogging, etc., etc. He told me to get the Sony 50mm f1.8. It is a primed lens, and I didn't know that. I wanted a wide-angle zoom lens that I should have specified. It's my fault. Uh, I just took his advice and ran with it. The only difference is I kind of have to stay a little further back. The autofocus makes a little bit of noise, and it's, it's, a little, it's a little choppy, but I have to get used to it. For now, I'm just gonna deal with it. Eventually, I'll get a lens that I'll vlog with, and then I'll use this for edits and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with this. It'll just cost me way too much money to either send it back and get a new one. It's a lot of work that I don't wanna have to deal with. So I'm gonna deal with this as best as I can. So cut me some slack. But it's been a week and I apologize for not uploading. I tried finishing the video with my phone. It looked like shit. So with that being said, all the hardship I'm going through, leave me a like, go ahead and hit the sub button and then we're gonna get on with the Alphalete, okay? Here comes the Alphalete haul slash review. Enjoy. Again, I apologize if its angle is somewhat off. It's hard, especially with the small room that I have, for me to actually get a good angle for my full body. But we're gonna make it work. And again, again, I apologize for not uploading anything as of late. I had to get used to this camera as well as do some other things. I'm obviously gonna buy a new lens because this lens actually is pissing me right off. So per usual, with an Alphalete video, we're gonna go ahead and start with my stats. <laughs> So obviously the first item we're gonna start off with is the stringer. They had three colors. They had a light blue, a pink, and a black. I got the blue and the pink. I've never owned a stringer, so I have nothing to really compare it to. I've always wanted one though. If you don't know what a stringer is, what it is, is it's a dropped neck, show off that upper chest. It's a cut off kind of look to show off those lats there. And then it's a very small little fabric in the middle to show off the, the back weight. It's a workout shirt for douchebags like me. This is the blue, they got the patch here and then everything else is normal. And the fabric is very similar to like a performance t-shirt. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing special. It feels durable, which is good, especially if you're working out in it a lot. I like it, so let's get on to the pink one. I'm not gonna bother talking about this one because it's the exact same thing just in this pink colorway. I like these two colors only because they're not like bright blue and bright pink. They're very subtle. I like them. I would prefer the black to be honest because I love black and everything. But this is what I got. This is what I'm gonna deal with. Give you a little twirl. Pose. Now we're gonna do performance keys. This is their black on black proud but never satisfied performance tee in a black on black writing. The same with this Alphalete badge right here. It's black on black. Fits like every other performance tee, nothing crazy. A little tight on the sleeves, which I like. A little longer fit, which I like. A little bag here on the body, which I like. It's just a very good casual shirt to wear to work out or just do cardio or relax, sleep, whatever. I don't know. I think it's dope. I love it. So now we're gonna move on to the long sleeve, which is one of my favorites. No crazy transition. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, put it on. This right here is my favorite color item. It is a beautiful color. I mean, this color is perfect to me. I don't, and the fabric on these long sleeves is perfect as well. I don't know. I love, love this color, and I love Alfred's long sleeves. So it's nice fit on the sleeves, very fitted. You have room though, shows off a little bit of bicep that I don't have. And then the body is a lot boxier and more roomy which again, I love. It's just got the little outfit right here. It's got the hem going down the spine. It's dope. I like it. I'm just gonna give everything a 10 and 10. So now we're moving on to the scoop necks, which I hated before, but now I really like. So this is their signature scoop neck. For you that don't know what it is, it is a deeper scoop on this neck, obviously. It's just a bigger neck hole that kind of drops a little further like a V-neck. The first few they made dropped literally to my nipples. I had nipples hanging out. It was bad, it was really, so I still have them, I don't wear them. So what they did is they made this a little tighter, so now it's not nearly as deep, it just shows off that top middle chest. They made the sleeves shorter so that they stack a little better, they look a little tighter. They made the shirt a little shorter, and they also put raw hems on both, which essentially just means that it's not so tight. It looks a little distressed because it's like kind of open here. My favorite item probably, this and the long sleeve. This is the same color, color as the long sleeve, obviously, which is why I like it so much. It's 
It's got this weird little stitch going across the back. So I got one more colorway of this, and that is all the items that I have. And this is the taupe, toupee, taupe, T-A-U-P-E colorway. I don't even know what it is. It's like a light tan cream color, which I love. Because I don't like white, because I feel like one, it gets dirty too easily. And two, it's like too bright. It's like a light, light, light tan cream color. And it's the exact same as what I just showed you. With that being said, I'm going to order a new lens. Get as comfortable with this lens as I can. Make some more dope videos coming up. So if you did enjoy the Alpha Lee haul, give it a like. It took me literally a week to make. <laughs> and cost me $300 to make. I really appreciate you watching. A lot, a lot, a lot of future content to come. When I go to Houston, I got a show. I got a videographer. I got a lot of food coming up. I got food challenges. I got so many things in mind. Coaching coming up very very soon. Go ahead DM me on Instagram Which will be down below if you're interested in free online coaching take advantage of that if you want to online coaching coming soon Dope show video coming soon some great food some great collabs some great summer shredding parties. It's gonna be amazing I hope I see some of you guys out there and with that being said Do not forget to leave a like and do not forget to subscribe for those that are still here I really appreciate it I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, be fit, stay sexy.